It's me, Mario. Hello. Greetings YouTube, I am Marcus Raven, and this is my first attempt at a Let's Play. I honestly have never done this before, so bear with me as I try and figure some things out. On top of that, I'm going to start with Mario 64, which yes has been overdone in the Let's Plays, but this is a learning process for me, so we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. And there's the princess. Come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. The very first instance of Peach's name being Peach. And from this point on, she just drops the Toadstool thing forever. Just, you know what? I'm done with that name. It's gone. Well, while we have our little introductory sequence here, I may as well properly introduce myself. I am Marcus Raven. I go by MarcusRaven86 on Twitch. I am a frequent streamer, and that's about it. I'm trying to get more into this whole YouTube thing, so figured a Let's Play was a good way to go about doing that. Jow, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, cake everywhere. Press A to jump, B to attack. B to read signs. Control stick to move and head to the castle. Whee! I remember as a kid that this was the game to play when it came out. I mean, being an N64 launch title. Good afternoon! Little Kido Bros here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. It's a very exact location. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lickidoo Brothers. Man, I feel like they need like a news ticker going. Something along those lines. Yeah, so we can press R to bring it to Mario. Get really up close. Let's go get some cake. No one's home. Now scram and don't come back. But, but cake. I was promised cake. Toad, where's the cake? I'm glad to see you, the princess, and I, and well, everyone. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. I don't know how trapped you are. I just walked through the front door. Bowser has stolen the castle stars and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars as you find them. You can use their power to open doors that Bowser is sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting in the one with the painting of Bob-Bombs inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. Well, that's terrible in hindsight for him. When you collect eight, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. I'm going to paraphrase a little bit here. Yeah, I just walked out the door. You're not trapped, you're lazy. Let's follow your advice. One door he hasn't sealed. <clears throat> now, throughout this series, I will be attempting a 100% run and getting all the power stars. I usually try to do 100 coin stars during red coin stars. We'll just see how it plays out. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power star that Bowser stole inside the painting world. First, talk to the Babom Buddy. Press B to talk. Certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Oh, I thought I had to jump on them, sit down, and have a sandwich. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some characters by facing them and press B. 
Ba bomb buddy! Watch out! You know, I have seen plenty of Let's Play tips and tricks and all that before starting this because I wanted to understand what I was getting myself into. And a lot of them said don't do voices for characters. I'll check comments later on. If you guys would like me to try and do stuff, I'll try my best. Boink. Let's see, I'm not doing a 100 coin star, so let's just go get the star we need. Whoop! Yeah, this is the Wii U version of Mario 64, and I do that every time. Every time that Chain Chomp gets me. But yeah, I was really excited to hear that N64 was hitting the Wii U. It's really nice. I was also really excited to note this trick. Nope. Well, when you don't screw it up. This trick still works. Just hold the A button and press B in a pattern. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, you giant balls. Gosh, that's an old song to be referencing. Showing my age. Have a heart. Yay. Okay, so this first star... As you can see, I still remember a good majority of the jump tricks. And all he really wants to tell me is that... He must fight me! Pretty much tells you how to beat him. Pick him up. Toss him. Now, if I start running around him trying to get him before letting him walk forward a little bit, he pivots perfectly. But if we stop for a second and let him get some forward momentum, he pivots poorly. And that's what you get. Bam. For being round and heavy. In Mario's world. There's nothing wrong with being round and heavy. I myself have a few pounds on me. It's the new sexy is what it is. What? What? Sorry, I just really like that line. Yep. Give me the power star. Which was inside your body the whole time. Here we go! It's off to a pretty good start. Yeah, I'd say it's a good, good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Not too many of them. Try the princess's room on the second floor. And the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Who's telling me this? Well, like all good Italian perverts, I am going straight to her room. Yay, sparkly. Now it's open. And her room is very unimpressive. If this is the princess's room, one, it's kind of foolish having your room be so close to the front of your castle for protection reasons. Two, you've got no room here. And that was something they addressed in the DS remake. But you have at least got a secret slide. I guess that's a cool thing. Get some blue coins. Hug the turns. Don't fall. Free one up. Oh, come on. Watch your butt there, Mario. Don't mess up. Ta da! Some of these first few stars are really easy to get. That is one of the castle secret stars. Nice thing is every 50 coins net you a 1-up. One of the few games where less than 100 coins net you a 1-up. Now, we're going to go do this again. And this time we can forget the blue coins. I don't really care. We're going to go on our tummy and go faster. Go Sanic fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. 
I only watched like three episodes of Sonic X. And frankly, I think that might have been two and a half too many. And beating a certain time, which I think is somewhere between 21 and 23 seconds? It might be 21. But anyway, getting 20 and some change nets you another star. But only after you get the first star in the box. So, it's always nice. Hmm. Now we can open anything with a 3 on it. Thanks for teaching me how to count. I did not know how to do that. Ah, foot race with Koopa the Quick. So many ways to cheat. Hi, Koopa. One of the few non-aggressive Koopas in the whole game. Actually, I think the only non-aggressive Koopa in the whole game. Ready, set, go! Shortcut time. As long as I don't screw it up. Perfection. Wonderful. He takes that same shortcut, he just takes a longer way to get there the first time around. You know what? Ow. No! Gotta watch out for the big balls. We're gonna take oh, another shortcut. Shortcut number two! And then... Another shortcut! I like waiting for him up here. Because then, you just kind of look around. See truly how slow he is? So there's less than 40 seconds. Koopa the Quick ain't so quick. Come on, Pally. Come on. There you is. There you is. And he's also one of the few AI characters that doesn't accuse you of cheating when you actually cheat. That's nice. <clears throat> and we'll save. Whoop. Shoot to the island in the sky. We're gonna need cannons for this one. They're peace-loving, but we man the cannons, because that makes sense. We are pacifists, but we have the largest weapons. Yeah, control stick, A to fire. Standard ordinance. Seriously, I'm not setting any goals right now. Ha! Didn't get me that time. I am not trying to set any high school. Where is the wall I just ran into? Did, did anyone see that? That was moderately disturbing. I just headbutted something that didn't exist. I'm going to be using this trick a lot, just fair warning. Maybe I should turn my camera a little bit so I can see the balls coming. Pretty good advice for a lot of situations that involve balls that come at you. You might want to see where they're coming from. And that tree marks the spot. Aim a little bit high for park adjustment and perfect. And look at that, another star. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go. You know, I gotta say, these first few stars, I won't have to do a whole lot of editing. I was expecting situations where I would have an editing nightmare of having to cut out deaths and all that jazz. Here we go, eight red coins. We're gonna do the hundred coin star on this one. As we get further in the game, there's a fair chance that I will have things that I need to edit out in order for the 
episodes to not be god awful long and boring. I'll try my best for that anyway. Always throw those at a wall so it's easier to catch the coins. Goombas always have one in them. So yeah, for these 100 coin stars, if you're ever curious about where to find extra coins, this will provide a pretty good, pretty good tip for that. The red coin stars are pretty good for using the 100 coin stars. Excuse me. The red coin stars are good for getting the 100 coin stars. There we go. Because, I mean, you have to collect coins anyway. Why not just get the other 84 that you need? Since red count is 2. I mean, there are some cases where getting the 100 coin star is easier on different aspects of the level, but... I've always found the red coin star to be the most convenient. You can ride the Koopa shells, as you can see here. Unless you run into something. But Koopas that you can actually defeat have five coins in them. Don't hurt me, I'm pretty. Don't hurt me, I'm pretty. Oh god, get it! Get it! Whew! Yeah. Okay. You've been chasing me too long. Okay. I try to grab the bombs and throw them before they explode. Because you have a little more control over the situation that way. Like so. Because they explode right after you throw them. But when they end up chasing you and you can't catch them, it's just easier to run. Okay. Now, those guys will respawn periodically, but you can only get a coin from them once. So that's pretty much all the coins in the very beginning here. Yep. <clears throat> Deal with you later, Chain Chomp. Okay, so... Goomba. And Goomba. And Goomba. Okay. Now this, if you've never played before, is where the eight coin star is going to show up. So once you've collected all eight red coins, it'll be there. You'll see it in various places in certain levels, sometimes in hard to reach places. Yeah. Let's see, how many are over here? Eight. We're gonna leave those, and there's a good reason, and you'll see why once we get a little further along here. And when they start chasing, it's just easier to run. Whoop. And boom! Of course, you gotta watch out for the water balloons. The bubbles, whatever you want to call them. I've always called them water balloons, even though they're not technically balloons at all. And there's your coin. Okay. So we've got 52 coins. And we've got most of the red coins. Now this is me backtracking through this area. Normally, oops. Oh my gosh. Let's not screw this up, because these are usually very frustrating. Oh, come on. Yeah, whenever I die on the 100 coin star runs, those are annoying, because you get like really close, make some great progress, then you die and have to start from scratch. It's really upsetting. Seriously? I grabbed him and then the tree, and he just kind of walks like nothing happened even though his fuse went off. That works for me. That works for me. Okay, we got 
60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. For some reason, I thought I was missing one. There's our eighth one right there. Okay. Now for the reason I keep those eight down below. Because once you get this far, these coins in the sky here are pretty much your only source of coins. So after all that fiasco, 98, 99, ooh, one up, 100. I will take it. Oh, that's better. I forgot how much of a fiasco it is not coming in here with the flight cap to do that. I, so, if you decide to come in with the flight cap, makes that 100 coin star a lot easier. Alright, let's move on. Mario wings it to the sky. Okay, we are actually going to have to exit the course because we don't have the ability to do that yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Uh, when we come back for the next episode, we're going to move on to Womp's Fortress which is the second stage and once we go through Womp's Fortress we should be able to unlock some more things like the wing cap and get back to that take care of things with flight flight is so nice to have so I have been Marcus Raven stay tuned for next time uh, if you want to catch me live please come by twitch.tv slash MarcusRaven86 and I will see you next time thank you for playing Bye bye I'm not done with you. Give you some elf ears. What was it? Is it Aria hold? Yeah. Give you some elf ears. like a big-eared baby Mario. I'm really excited to see you. Yeah. Check me out.